Greetings and salutations. This is your boy Boom, fellow Ascension, aka fellow Astrology, aka fellow Etero. Be back. Just uh, putting these cards up and picking up a new deck. And getting straight into this Divine Feminine's karmic situation. So, um, if you ain't checked out, uh, Twin Flames of Separation. Um, Divine Masculine situation and Divine Feminine situation yet. Please check those out. It'll definitely help me make this... <laughs> Make more sense of this right here, you know what I'm saying? I already know how the energy is going to be just going fresh off that device in this reading. That's why I have to get a new deck. So I can really just shuffle and really get some good new energies. Might be the same. That'll be even better. <laughs> Getting the same energies from a well. <laughs> well scrabble deck of cards, you know what I'm saying? It just shows that the energy is ever present for a collective, and it always is. Um... On a side note, uh, I don't know, man. Um, like I said, my prices, man, I know they can be a little, <laughs> they ain't a stretch or nothing. Like I said, to me, it's cheap and uh, for the quality and shit like that. So I'm probably gonna do some deals uh, when I get back home, sell it in and shit. There ain't gonna be no $25 readings no more. That shit did. But um, I'll work with you. I'll just put it like that. And there's going to be individuals that I want to work with. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to shit differently. You know what I'm saying? Out here, I went through a lot of little bullshit. As far as like... I don't know, man. It's, I don't know, man. I ain't going to talk about all this shit. Let's get this mess. It's a lot of shit. It's been happening as far as business-wise this shit. It's just something out here. I ain't been digging that. King of Wands out here. Four of Wands out here. All the type of shit I'd like to see. Four of Wands just came out in every fucking reading this week. I love that shit. <laughs> Good sign, baby. Matrix just came out. It's clarifying secrets. Divine feminist karmic motherfucking situation. This shit is finna be real. Uno momento. Four swords right next to the shit, yeah. Open doors. Final card, let's get with it. <clears throat> Overall energy, we got the Knight of Wands. And this is moving fast and fiercely in your divine direction, feminine. And clarifying that is the Ten of Swords. This is a permanent ending. The masculine, that was kind of the foreword he had in the, in the, in the eulogy of his reading. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Hey, in order to begin something, you got to end something. These are actions you're about to begin. This is past the Ten of Wands, which is the bottom line here. Told you, when you get to, to the Ten, those are like karmic completions. You're done with karma after Ten. Everything past Ten is all divine issues, all divine Demos are all things that's part of the divine and need to be secured that you need to be on having your antennas up for and shit like that Moving fast and fierce in your divine direction. You got to do that. You know what I'm saying? Number one It's part of your J for journey And you can't be scared to lose things you can't be scared to cut strings you can't be scared to cut ties You can't be scared to lose people You know, always have, like you can fight all day to keep a person in your life or to get them to love you better or respect you better and shit like that, but they can drop dead any day. And what's all that worrying done? Nothing. Yourself. You can drop dead any day. And you know what I mean? Nobody's really going to carry on the vision that you had of this whole completion shit you were trying to do with yourself. It's all karma. And it's all shit you complete. This could be actual death. Feminine. It happens. It happens on the journey. <laughs> it's not funny, but put more smoke on that. Three of Cups. Distractions. Whatever this is, you got to put a permanent end to feminine. You'll be highly distracted not to. It's purpose over person. Not saying you shouldn't have any karmic situations, but it's purpose over person, especially not a karmic, but it's 
purpose over person. If you do have a karmic, you choose to choose like a karmic over purpose, karmic over karmic over anything, really. You kind of distract it. They're karmic. They're supposed to be following your lead. You ain't supposed to be following theirs. And if Pentacles is all they have that got you following them, then once again, you need to you need to kind of get some awareness on a few things. But bottom line, you got to dig deep. Seven of Cups. This goes the whole energy I've been saying the past two weeks, too. This goes for the masculine and the feminine. 95% of my audience is women. So, y'all got to dig deep. Y'all got to get out the mud y'all self. Any instance in your head that somebody owes you anything that ain't yours already, if it ain't yours, then you don't own it. It ain't yours. Just because you got the keys to the house don't mean the house is in your name. Dig what I'm saying? It's your actions. Okay, that's going to secure you. It's your actions that's going to get you where you need to be in life. Your actions, not nobody else's. If you got to put in a lot more actions than usual by permanently ending whatever the situation is, you're going to have to dig deep, sis. Dig deep, bro. <laughs> real. This isn't a temporary ending you need to do. This is a permanent ending. But. No buts. Let me pick another card. Might be a booty. Ace of Swords. Yeah, but if it's meant to happen, whatever the situation is, karma situation you need to motherfucking put it into, whatever the situation is, if it was meant to happen, they'll be back. They'll catch you on a journey. J for journey. You're moving fast and furious on a divine direction. You're on a journey. Right now, they're kind of a distraction. It's something you need to permanently in. This is mentally in a relationship just because you break up with a person don't mean you ain't like i say it's weird like i don't know how to explain it. it's like a person that want kids and you don't it's like well i don't want kids i got a career i need to focus on and he's like well i want kids and it's like well where do we go from here you know <laughs> i'm digging deep it's hard for me to be in yet another situation like this because i do want kids too but it's purpose of a person with me they understand you take off, something happens, or time passes, you come back, they're back, it's like they've been waiting on you, or whatever the fuck, they're good peoples, and you could pick up where you left off, so in reality, it was a temporary ending, not a permanent one, going back to, like I say, uh, Greece, um, Danny and Sandy, when they've seen each other on that vacation, I guess in Australia, some shit like that. You know what I mean? They must have mentally thought it was a tennis towards a permanent ending. Like, they were never going to see each other again. Like, the situation was going to come to a permanent end. But in reality, they went into the situation, a tennis towards thinking it was going to permanent be a permanent end until they, boom, found each other and noticed that it was only a temporary end. Shit is ever changing. <laughs> Coming to this thing, you personally feminine, you have a seven of swords. This is a secret. Or a cat that's about to come out the bag. Someone or you, yourself, taking a mask off in the world. I take it as you personally. Gotta pick another card. It's got some, some good flavor on it. Seven of Swords. Two seven. Seven up. That's good. This is a good thing here. It's happening right here. Seven of Swords. You're taking off a mask. You know, it's like coming out to the world, let motherfuckers know who you are, who you really are, not the person you've been smiling and, you know, living to be, maybe that's what this tennis Swords is too, man, some feminists coming out the closet, and what I mean by that is like, it could be like male divine masculines, who, I mean male divine feminists, excuse me, like myself, who, um, just come out, <laughs> Yeah, you know I mean, they kind of not been living a lie or anything. They just kind of been uncomfortable. It's like me when I wear a suit, like a good suit. You know what I'm saying? That's super tight. Like I, I sweat a lot anyway. I'm a big nigga, and uh, when I'm wearing them good suits, you feel me? Like 
I just do too much to stay cool in them, and yeah, you know I'm saying I don't rip them or yeah, you know I'm saying because you know it'd be you know them good suits that be like you know tailor made and shit like that. You know what I'm saying like when you're talking about like regular ass clothes, you know what I'm saying? It's how I be with a suit. Sometimes I just want to like be comfortable, just take my tie off or some shit, button my shit, have a beard, fart, scratch my ass in a in a private event or some shit like that like you know what i'm saying it's just being yourself saying or communicating something probably under influence probably at a time where you normally wouldn't do that like that type of energy you know what i'm saying you're just coming out like fuck it i don't give a fuck who got something to say about what the fuck i gotta say right now god damn it i feel good da -da 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 -da. <laughs> you know what i'm saying i'm telling the world it's like you're telling the world I am who I am, and if you ain't feeling me to move the fuck around, Seven of Pentacles, reread. If you ain't feeling me, reread. If you ain't feeling me, rearrange your thoughts, then nigga. <laughs> Reprioritize yourself for some shit, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You better get some rerouting in that whole ideology you got, or whatever the fucking uh, religion you fucking with that's, 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 that's got a problem with what I got cracking over here. Shit, you need to redirect that energy somewhere else towards some, some, some loving shit, because it's all love over here. Love myself enough to keep it real with myself. That's the realest shit you can do in the world is keep it real with your motherfucking self. My motherfuckers know. You don't have to broadcast your fucking business. It's just shit clicking so cold. You just get on some Kiki Palmer shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's Queen Latifah shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just, it's, it's swell. Nigga. And fuck it. I don't give a fuck who knows type of shit. Some Kevin Spacey shit. Happens all the time. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Do your motherfucking thing. Hey, we need more people being they self out here because there's a lot of fake motherfuckers out here. Moving on. In the karma to that, you have sauce, feminine, and um, you saucy as shit, okay? And you kind of got something going. And this shit that you got going, the world needs to hear about this shit. Not your every move, not everything you finna do with the sauce. They just need to know your sauce exists. And where they can get it, or when it's coming out and shit like that. Okay, you got some cooking. Sauce, you got some cooking. And this is like you creating flyers. You creating a YouTube channel. You creating... Um, just a platform. To display your sauce. Or, since this isn't a karmic road, this is a karmic reading and shit, your fucking karmic taking your fucking sauce and putting that shit out for the world to see. We do got a seven of swords up here. <laughs> Secret! Some shit comes out the bag, forces you to fucking move around some worldly shit, four cups, some worldly shit. Could be the energy of like, I don't know, some fuck ass karmic just taking your nudies and throwing them bitches up on um any random porn site out here i don't usually look at pictures <laughs> i don't usually look at pictures and porn and shit so i don't know where they put them at but you know it's like you put some pictures up of you you know you can make money off, off that shit now so be careful you might be making motherfuckers a fortune just from having a hidden camera in your house that you don't even know about it's real it's the world it's how shit be it's fucked up out here <laughs> Enemy. Uh, and if it's not that bad, this is by, like I say, stealing your idea, your karmic stealing, your ideas, and your ideologies, and your doctrine, and doing shit with it. So why you need to be doing shit with it, so just in case somebody else tries to do some shit with it, and you ain't doing nothing with it, they don't really get all the glory from it. Goes back to the whole eight of wands. Be careful who you tell your shit to. Be careful who you even speaking to grand shit about can't speak a grand shit to some pawns man they're just gonna want to get in the easy way it's like you copping bricks somewhere and somebody see you cop the bricks on some snowfall shit and they rob you outside the place you went to go get the drugs because they seen you in there with the drugs and know you got it you in a fucking lottery you just hit i don't know 200 bands <laughs> 200 bands, 200 thou, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers seen, they heard the alarm, they seen you and everything. You get your little check, you walk out that bitch. 
Somebody got you for your riches. Because you chose to, I don't know, get like 10000 in cash to walk out with. <laughs> Can't broadcast what you got, man. You're too saucy. You're too special. You got too much shit going on. Motherfuckers might play you off like what you do ain't important. Like what your shit, like your sauce ain't the shit biscuits when it is. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers will love to take your idea. Motherfuckers will love to talk you out of a good opportunity and then, and then they take it. It's karma. Watch yourself. Because you personally feminine. In regards to yourself, we have the divine masculine here. Ain't that something? You show up in his reading. You show up in yours. He could be a she. She could be a he. You now be rocking. You got the divine masculine here. The king of wands being clarified by the queen of swords. Being ten toes the fuck down on a mental uh, direction or a mental decision that you're going to basically make. In regards to you, if I am asking, what is that? What is that? Knight of Pentacles. This is to groom your masculine or for your masculine to groom you or for you to school your masculine or your masculine to school you. And your divine masculine is in neo forms like he needs you right now. Or he has something for you that involves you personally. Blind feminine. This is like. You just mind your motherfucking business and I don't know, out the blue, dun dun dun, dun masculine hits you up. Hey, let's meet up, so and so, so and so, so and so. You probably heard him heard from him for a minute. You probably tweaking, like, yo, what the fuck? Like, you want to pick up my phone calls now? You calling me? Like, what the fuck? Like, mental shit. You just need to be 10 toes the fuck down, okay, on a mental direction that you're going to have to go with your twin. And the direction that you're going to go with your twin is probably going to be towards your twin. Okay, so don't fight it. Don't play the King of Cups shit like he did in the last reading. What you need to do here is soak up game. Knight of Pentacles. This is the grooming card. I told you it's a Padawan and a, you know what I'm saying, and a, and, a, and, a, and a Jedi. You know what I'm saying? It's a master and apprentice. You're going to have to play the student. It's obviously something he wants to show you. Obviously something. It's an outing. Like I said, the last reading was something for you two to be in attendance of. It's like y'all end up in the same spot. This is him taking motherfucking initiative. Roll with it. Six of swords, that shit. Surfboard. <laughs> hey, surf that shit. What the fuck you talking about? This is you. This is this is something involving you personally. What's your divine master? All good shit. All good shit. Moving on. Karma to all that. All that there. The karma to your masculine, like I say. Popping up on you, being ten toes down on a mental direction. They kind of want you to go. Definitely involves grooming. Like they want to show you something. Like they want to teach you something. Like they want to expose you to something else. Like taking you to the fucking opera. Out the blue. We ain't never did this shit. I'm taking you salsa dancing or some shit. Nigga know how to dance now. Whatever the fuck. It's going to be some new shit. That's the best way to come at you is on some new shit. Not no old shit. Not him t calling and meet you at the same spot y'all used to always go to. Or for him to tell you he's busy doing the same shit he always does and can't get with you. Or just calls you to see what you do. Whatever the fuck. You know, it's going to be in a whole new direction. Vibe with it. Okay, because karma and all that shit is. <clears throat> we got Ace of Cups here. This is self-love, self-care, self. Self-love, self uh, self-care, self self-respect, self-admiration. Self-realization. Self-identification, uh, self self basically. You know who the fuck you are. It goes with the whole, I'm coming out shit over here. You know what I'm saying? It's really knowing really know who the fuck you are. Feminine, you gotta really know who the fuck you are. When all this shit transpires. This you coming out shit. This your masculine fucking with you shit. Like, all this shit is gonna happen. Okay? And it's gonna hit you fast and furiously. It's gonna happen fast. Even for those that has to experience death. Don't let whatever death happen keep you in a way of like moving in a direction you need to go to. It's like, I don't know, shit start happening, things are picking up with you, and boom, death happens. And it's like you feel you have the need to take care of somebody or maybe you need to stick around and be there for somebody and shit like that. When you got purpose out here to do, like, don't let that distract you. It's not a distraction. I mean, it's respect. The death thing is a respect thing. But at the same time, you got shit to do out here. You gotta know who you are and what you do out here. So you ain't never forswore no shit. You should never be in your head about who you are and what you are and how much you worth and 
what you bring to the table and all that shit, even where you stand with your twin. That's why I say you always got to have faith. Always have faith your master and always going to pull through, always going to come through for you, always going to be a breakthrough, always going to be there. My God, might not come when you want him, the motherfucker be there right on time. You're going to be right on time with your ass, you know what I'm saying? It's fate, it's divine timing, you got to let that shit twerk. Not be in your head. If you in your head about some shit, then you aren't sure about some shit. You need to be out of your head to the next sword process, which is the five of swords, which is the Nate Dog hold up weight card, but it's the focus card. You out of your head, but you focusing. Four of swords is looking at a target. Five of swords is cocking a bow back at the target and looking at the motherfucking target a little bit more closer, being a little bit more focused with it. Six of swords is letting that shit go. This whole experience your master is going to show you is basically why you in your head overthinking what the fuck all this shit is going to be. It's going to be a taking care of you type energy. It's like my fucking twin and me, me, first thing he want to do is fucking, um, I don't know, take me to like, uh, get a pedicure or some shit. <laughs> Sorry, nigga, I bet your feet still look fucked up, nigga, let me see him. Like, real shit. Be a good old motherfucking restaurant. This is, nigga, I'm not in the shit. Nigga, my foot? Yeah, nigga, we finna go get pedicures and shit like that. I bet. Whatever. It's nothing. <laughs> it's nothing. Like I said, motherfuckers be watching this. Like, what the fuck up with these niggas? Like, these niggas be all goofy. Like, like I said, we just... I'm telling you, it's some weird shit when we come together. When all twins come together. And we come together out of love to do nothing. We just love being each other's company. We do know we got separate lives and shit that we got to do outside of this shit that we must maintain too and can't. And you know what I mean? We can't get too caught up in the rapture of each other because that's a distraction in itself. So going back to what the fuck your master's finna do. Like, your master's just finna, like, probably take you to get your life feet done, hair done, pay a bill. And maybe that had to be done for your well-being. Whatever this is going to happen is going to help the whole heart factor, whether that's the emotional heart factor or taking care of you physically. Whatever take care of you means. But it's something for your own well-being. Like me and my Tony going out to eat. This nigga take us to eat something healthy. Like we ain't going to get no meat and three. We ain't eating bird. <laughs> Is he like uh, chicken and shit? Cause shit bird. We ain't finna eat no bird. You know what I'm saying? Fry bird. Probably grilled bird or some shit like that. Like it's just going somewhere health conscious. Cause that nigga super duper duty health conscious. He always trying to get me to be on better health. I ain't trying to hear that shit. Like, oh, you trying to get me to be, like, get pedicures and manicures like he get some diva shit. Which I need to get, but I say I ain't got time for that, but I just don't do it the way he does it. He does it on a grooming level, and it's all grooming. That's all I was saying. It's grooming. It's going to be on a grooming level. Taking you to go get a massage. Something like that. It's like a pampered, spoiled day. Or in the nigga case, he's just looking out for his nigga. Like, man, I'm going to take you to go get some, I don't know, like... Whatever, man. Clothes, better wardrobe. Nigga, probably take me go get some wardrobe or some shit like like whatever. It's done out of care. Like he's just trying to take care of you. He's just trying to like do what's best for you, not think for you. Because like I said, you should be overanalyzing and shit. Whatever happens is gonna be for your best uh, well being. He's just trying to take care of you. So for that moment that y'all have, okay. Um, feminine, you regards to the masculine energy. This goes to that three of pentacle that definitely popped up a lot this week. This is you and your masculine doing shit. Whatever you and your masculine does, it's a fucking win. So whether y'all come together to knock boots, that's cool. That's a W. Whether y'all just come together to, I don't know, catch up. That's cool. Whether y'all just come together on like a super duper duty night that just kind of advanced this whole situation. That's a victory. Whatever it is, it's going to be straight. Even if y'all just meet each other, y'all two being in the same spot. That's a dub too. <laughs> you, as far as the mass, you in, in regards to the mass one, comically, it's going to be a win. Let me put some more smoke on that. It's going to be a win. Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> a for attendance. I told you, Joe. It's like this is you, feminine. This is your masculine, divine masculine. Y'all gonna come together. That's what this is. It's a W. Yeah, you know what I mean. Y'all, y'all two going, two are gonna become one. 
Y'all gonna be in attendance in the same fucking place. Be ready for it. Because he won't be. Or she. He could be a she. You know how we rock it. They won't be. Master, you ain't gonna be ready for it. Feminine, get ready for it. <laughs> as far as uh, the feminine in regards to the masculine's karma. Karma and the masculine's wrong. This would be the masculine, divine masculine in regards to himself here. You got the five of pentacles. This is where the fuck he was at. Last three. Dark Knight of Soul. Assed out. Isolated. Going without something. You. Clarifying that, we got the devil card. Agent Smith. Now I see why Agent Smith kicks it a lot. With Neo. I.E. Mr. Anderson. The reason why Mr. Smith fuck with Neo a lot is because, like I said... It's like Neo likes hanging with Mr. Smith when Trinity ain't around. This isn't like a karmic. You know what I mean? This is more so like a drug. Like he drinks a lot when you're not around. Or smokes a lot when you're not around. Or jerks off a lot when you're not around. Or... <laughs> um, you know, kicks it with stupid friends. Or goes to dangerous places with these stupid friends. Or do dangerous shit when you're not around. Like he likes parkour and jumping off buildings and skydiving and bungee jumping and shit. Like living life on the edge. You know? It's like this the shit he does when you're not around. It's all fucked up. Putting more smoke on that all fucked upness. Got the King of Swords. Got a guy smack here. He's going through the dark night of soul. He's dancing with the devil. And you're getting smacked by God. That's just what your feminine, I mean, what your divine masculine is going through, being without you. Now, this is a karmic reading, and this shit does involve you, right? Y'all are reflections, okay? You're going through the same shit. Karmically, you're asked out alone by your fucking self, dealing with your motherfucking demons, fresh off of God smack, or you just fill in the air like, like karma. Like karma on some shit around you. Like, you feel it. I feel it. Like some bullshit going to crack off before I leave. Like on some karmic dumb shit. Which is beneath me and it ain't nothing. <laughs> it's just going to be another brick in the wall. Another motherfucking hurdle. But I mean once again it's shit I don't need. I feel it. It's going to be some goofy shit. Some type of dispute. Some type of goofy shit. Karmic shit. Whatever the fuck it is. It's going to be handled immediately. <laughs> so. You You know. You and your twin are fucking the same. Y'all are alike. It's shit you do when you're mass laying around. I'm not saying it's dark, but y'all reflection. Going to the future feminine. You have the Queen of Pentacles, which is the Khalees Bossy card. Clarifying that is the Three of Swords, which is the Pain card. Or going past the point of no return. Mentally, because they're swords. The boss move right, right now, Divine Feminine, is to go past the point of no return. What does that mean, going past the point of no return mentally? And how do you going to boss up by going past the point of no return mentally? It's like I said, you become so far gone. You get on such a high level that by the time your masculine catch up to you, they're on the same level as you, which is pretty fucking high. The higher you are, the divine you are. Ain't nobody more divine than another person, but you can be divine and not be a karmic like <laughs> you don't want to be karmic you know what I'm saying you want to be divine but even as a divine you still want to get ascended as more as possible all going past the point of no return is, is like I say fully understanding mentally that there is no going back to a regular life there is no going back to anything that was the same you're about to boss up you're about to be a boss you ain't finna be a worker no more it's gonna be a difference and once you become a boss, you just want to keep going up. You don't want to go back to working. From just being a boss. It's like being a millionaire and you go broke. Now you a civilian again. Or you was famous. Now you ain't famous no more and don't really know who the fuck you are. Like, it's just past the point of no return. You're going to have to deal with it. It's just the consequences of what happens. It's a boss move. I'm not saying you're gambling with your life right now. But, hey, life is a chess game, man. It ain't checkers. Better sure to have some type of mental plan when you out here moving your pieces and shit. 
Final word, feminine. On to the future. Karmically, we got the four of wands. Union is going to happen. You're going to have to man up on that opportunity. You're going to have to man up on this shit. When it happens, let it happen. Don't fight it. Don't realize shit. Whatever the fuck you feel. Like, as soon as four of wands become present, this is a union. Reunion or recognition. Or are you coming home? So if you four wands, you coming home, there ain't even no twin flame shit going on with you. If you coming home, then you need to man the fuck up. She might be coming home for a funeral or some shit like that. You have to man the fuck up. Take your rightful place as being the one. You know what I'm saying? Far different from everybody else in the fam. You're not an outcast. You're just an enlightened, ascended soul. You just move different. You think different. Your feelings is different. You know what I'm saying? Your actions is different. You need to take pride in that. But really go full forth with the whole process. You came home for a reason. Were you home for a reason? Or you in union for a reason? Or you back reunited for a reason? Or you just found out who your twin is for a reason? Master that shit. King of Pentacles is the master. Master the situation. I master my twin flame situation. To deal with it personally and to help people deal with their situations. Gotta master shit first. <laughs> You know what I mean? You gotta be a student before you student before you become a teacher. And even when you're a teacher, you you always gonna be a student. What does the universe want to say? Final word out here. Nine of swords, stress. Losing sleep, losing teeth, losing weight, losing hair the wrong way. Gotta put more smoke on that. Ace of Wands, awareness, gotta put final smoke on that. Final message here. Nine of Swords, fear card. Final message, Divine Feminine. It's a tug of war going on with you. It involves stress, Nine of Swords, and fear, Knight of Swords. Stress, Nine of Swords, and fear, Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is also making decisions without crossing your T's and dying your I's. Once again, it is a J. Okay, it's a Knight, so it is a Divine Emotion. It's the step right after the Ten of Swords overall energy. It's like somebody dying and you dealing with that shit. But you can't dwell on that shit. You gotta move on. Shit just has to happen. You gotta be strong for your people. You cannot fall to pieces. That's the awareness. A for awareness you need to have to deal with both these situations. Nine of Swords was the step before the Ten of Swords happened. Knight of Swords is the step after the Ten of Swords. You just need to be A for aware of exactly what the Ten of Swords is. It's a permanent ending. Things have to end. If you break up with somebody, it had to happen. Let it ride. Somebody died. That's a part of life. It has to happen. Let it ride. Deal with it. You lose a limb. You lose a job. You lose a house. You lose something. You cannot be sitting around discombobulated in a divine energy. The reason why you're in a divine energy discombobulated is because it's probably you, the one in the family, that has to make shit happen. Everything is falling on you now. You have to pay for the fucking funeral. You are the motherfucking breadwinner of the family now. You are the the matriarch, the patriarch, man. All actions. It's how you deal with this shit. You have to be a staple to hold fucking shit together when shit goes chaotic. If you got stress on one hand and fear on the next hand and you got nothing but awareness holding you down, then damn it. Shit. Sounds like you're the fucking sound like you're the man to me. Deal with your shit. Don't let your shit deal with you. Because it's got to get dealt with anyway. That's the message that I got. Hope I can be of some good assistance. It's your boy D-Boom. Please stay tuned.